How would you play games on your PC if you couldn't use your hands? Your first instinct might be to use your feet, uh, maybe even with a foot controller like the Beacon or the Stinky Footboard. But then what if you couldn't use your feet either? In that case, you might be tempted to get more uh, creative. But fortunately for the many people out there, including many gamers who struggle to use a conventional keyboard or mouse, there's another option. Introducing Quad Joy, a mouse you control with your mouth. Speaking of mouth, my mouth saying these words about our sponsor Kono. Kono is excited to introduce the Hex Gears X1 keyboard, a low profile Bluetooth mechanical keyboard with multi-device connectivity and a beautifully machined aluminum case. Check out the link below to learn more. So how do you control a mouse with your mouth? Well, the first step is to actually get this device close enough to your face, which Quadjoy accomplishes with a clamp and a mounting arm. Now there are two styles of clamps available and this is the most popular one. There's also this like kind of pipe mounting clamp one which can grab onto pretty much anything. So it's better for wheelchairs, but it's almost three times the price. And both of them can connect to the mounting arm in multiple orientations. So this one, this little bit unscrews and you can put it on any one of these five mounting points. And then this one, you either put it on sideways and mount it here or here or here, or you put it on this way and mount it up here. That's what we're gonna be doing. Then you got your mounting arm. This thing is heavy duty AF. Like it's sturdy enough to keep the device in place in air. Like, look, I'm waving it around and it's not bending, but it's also flexible enough that you can tailor it to your exact setup and it'll stay exactly where you want. It's also got this really nice articulating end here that again, really nice quality. You just loosen up, configure however you want it, tighten it up with just one knob and boom. This gives you the precision you need to get the quad joy to your lips. Please stand by while Linus installs the device. So the mouse itself is basically a single joystick. So you can probably see the cursor moving it around, but with the added ability to respond to your breath. So out of the box, it's totally plug and play with no software required. And the basic, I don't know, I guess you could call them like gestures that it's pre-programmed with are a sip for left click or a puff for right click. Cool, right? Now, there is a learning curve. So to get to the same level that I would have with my hands would take tens, if not hundreds of hours. But the folks at Quadjoy have done their best to make it as easy as possible. So first of all, there are LED indicators that you can actually see out of your peripheral vision. So it's easy to tell, for example, when you've entered what they call scrolling mode. All you've got to do is puff, until this indicator turns green, and then you can puff and sip in order to scroll up and down a page. Pretty cool. And there's the totally optional Quadjoy desktop app that lets you take these default actions and greatly expand them. You can do a ton of tweaking to everything from how the stick behaves, to pointer speed and acceleration, to even the required breath force. It's actually pretty deep. And the best part is the amount of customization that they give you with the gestures. With just sipping and puffing, so like, you can program up to 12 different actions with basically whatever key binding you want. So, so you could, you know, puff soft, then hard for control alt delete or to launch the calculator or whatever the case may be. It's awesome. But wait, there's more, actually a, a lot more. So you can execute functions with multiple types of gestures, not just sipping and puffing, like by moving the stick to the edge and holding, for example, check this out. There it is. And you can actually create a gesture to switch modes, giving you a whole other layer of commands on the fly 
using those same sips and puffs or hold stick to edges. And then what's cool is you can import and export your settings so you can optimize the mouse, or the quadjoy as it were, for different applications on your computer. Leading us, of course, then to the question. With all this customization, can you game on it? Oh. <laughs> Whoa, we're scored. Cool. <laughs> Uh, did I help? <laughs> you. <laughs> We're really in the net. <laughs> All right. So believe it or not, it depends on the game. You can actually play something like Rocket League with near full functionality, since all you need is movement with the stick, and then boost and jump can be done with your breaths. Pretty cool, right? And even mouse-centric games like RTS, RPG, or board games were shockingly functional. Now, the tricky genre is FPS. So, can it run Crisis? Okay, technically, this isn't Crisis, but whatever, the same principles apply. Now, to do this properly, you'd really want two joysticks. One for looking around, and then one for moving. And we couldn't find an effective way to do both of those things at the same time on the quad joy. So the best we managed was using the stick to look and then just inhaling to move forward and then puffing to shoot. Now it technically works, but it's a pretty bad time. But what if you used the stick to run around, then stopped, switched mouse modes to look around and aim and shoot, and then switched back to keep moving? That's basically what Twitch streamer Rocky No Hands does, and odds are he can absolutely pwn you at Fortnite. However, he uses a different controller, the Quad Stick. So, would this approach work on the Quad Joy? Uh, unfortunately, no. Because the software doesn't let you bind stick movements to key presses, like up equals W. What they do offer is a sold separately $210 feature called Joystick Mode that we actually ended up needing third-party software called joy to key to fully utilize. It does allow you to move around using the stick, but, oh, dang it. <laughs> but it creates a new problem. So they don't actually let you do gestures in Joystick Mode, so you have no way to quickly switch back to mouse mode when you're done moving around and it's time to aim and fire at something. All right then, so assuming you're in the market for a mouth mouse, should you buy the Quad Joy? Uh, if you're a gamer, well, it's clearly not designed with gaming in mind, but for general computer use, there are really a lot of great things about it that are hampered by a couple of complaints. One, the amount of play on the mounting arm is in our minds unacceptable for something that costs, complaint number two, this much. This wiggle in the mount right down here amounts to a significant dead zone in either the X or the Y axis, depending on which way you mount it. And at $1,400, Quad Joy costs about double what the Quad Stick does. And that one has been proven to be performance enough for competitive gaming and with multiple mouth options. So I don't see why you might not start there instead. Though, to be clear, we haven't tested any of the other products in the market, and we're, we're not really the target consumer for these products anyway. The purpose of this video for us was to experience a type of mouse input that we had never tried before, and draw attention to a segment of the market that really doesn't get talked about much. So if you have experience with either of the products we've talked about, or maybe another one we didn't cover, please leave a message in the comments section below. Speaking of below, below we're gonna have a link to Brilliant. Brilliant believes that effective learning is active, not passive, and learning from lectures and videos isn't as effective as diving in and doing things for yourself. And Brilliant provides you with the framework for thinking about and solving problems. So it's kind of like a problem-solving website that teaches you to think like a computer scientist by guiding you through problems. So they take a concept, 
break it up into bite-sized pieces, present clear thinking in each part, and then build back up to an interesting conclusion. So head over to brilliant.org forward slash Linus Tech Tips and get 20% off today. We're gonna have that linked below. So thanks for watching guys. If this video sucked, this video, sorry. My mouth is actually kind of tired. If it sucked, you know what to do. But if it was awesome, get subscribed, hit that like button, or check out the link to where to buy the stuff we featured in the video description. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which you should totally join.